Look on the board behind me and you'll see some awesome Silver Age books. And I've got those up there because this is the best Silver Age auction we've ever had at Heritage. Take a look at this first photo for a prime example. Now this is from the Gary Dahlberg collection, which is the new Twin Cities pedigree. And how about this beautiful Spider-Man number two? It's the best copy I've ever seen and I'm, I'm sure you'll say the same. Look at the next picture, it's Spider-Man number four. Same thing there, the best one we've ever offered of that issue. And uh, the collection is mostly Marvel, but there are some knockout DCs like this one on the next frame here, Batman number 171, the first Silver Age appearance of the Riddler. And of course, those are just the tip of the iceberg. We do have tons of Silver Age from other collections too. On our next photo, here's Fantastic Four number 48 and 98. That's the first appearance of the Silver Surfer, of course. Now, lest you think we've neglected the Golden Age, don't think that it's very well represented. Case in point, Action 1 on our next photo. After that, Superman 1. You might recognize Wonder Woman 1, and of course our old friend Batman 1. So a pretty strong Golden Age lineup as well. On the original art front, the uh, big lot of the auction is the cover lot of our catalog, and that's this splash page from Dark Knight number 3 by Frank Miller. We also have two panel pages from the Dark Knight in this auction and lots of other Miller art uh, featuring other characters to boot. We've also got tons of underground art, including a neat consignment from the collection of Albert Morse, who was Robert Crumb's lawyer. And to pick out just one, here's Crumb's portrait of Albert Morse, and you can see he lovingly pokes a little fun at his friend. On the word balloon, you see Morse saying, with dialogue by Crumb, that the three most important things in life are number one, power, number two, money, and number three, women. Hey, shouldn't comics be in there too? Moving on, here's Dick Sprang's cover to Batman number 30. Obviously, Batman covers from the Golden Age don't grow on trees, and this is a great patriotic theme, and there's a couple of real interesting preliminaries included with the same lot. Our next image is Neil Adams, Savage Sword of Conan number two. This is Adams at the peak of his powers. I think you'll love this one. And of course, we got the king of the comics, Jack Kirby, Journey into Mystery, number 110, uh, an awesome Thor pinup. Now, one of the coolest Charles Schultz items we've ever offered is what's apparently a tryout for Peanuts with what are basically prototype versions of Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Really one of the more remarkable uh, lots we've ever offered from, uh, from this beloved artist. And if you like Charles Schultz trying out for the Peanuts, how about Carl Barks trying out for Disney? We've got that uh, in the auction too, and you can see it right here. And that's part of a huge Carl Barks section with plenty of oil paintings also from the Kirby Confer collection, including this money bin, time out uh, for therapy, and we've got a few other ones as well. Uh, and we've also got my buddy Uncle Scrooge here uh, on an excellent figurine. Now that was just 1%, less than 1% of the lots in the auction actually, so those were just a few favorites of mine. Check out our website at ha.com and uh, you can pick out all of your own favorites, so I wish you happy browsing and happy bidding.